As many of you know, ChatGPT locks many of its best AI features behind a paywall. Thankfully, due to Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot gives you access to four of these useful features completely free. I'll show you what they are coming up next on Brett in Tech. Let's go over where you can access Copilot and the various apps available. It's built into Windows 11 and the latest version of Windows 10. You can access it on the web by going to copilot.microsoft.com. To install it on Mac OS, it's available from the Mac App Store. You can get it on the App Store for both the iPhone and iPad. And if you're rocking an Android device, you can get it from the Google Play Store. The link to this and the others mentioned are in the description. Recently, Microsoft announced that they were offering free unlimited access to Copilot's powerful Think Deeper feature. This is a conversational mode powered by OpenAI's O1 reasoning model, which is useful for complex problem solving and more in-depth exploration of topics. On ChatGPT, to get access to this advanced model, users have to pay $20 per month. On Copilot, it's free, but you will need to be logged in to a Microsoft account to use it. The Think Deeper button is located on the search bar just to the left of the microphone. If you're not logged in, it won't appear. Here's an example. Click the Think Deeper button and enter your prompt. Then click on the Submit Message button. My prompt was, I live in a neighborhood that has a power outage every time there is high wind. Should I buy a generator? What are the pros and cons, things I should consider, and impact to my budget and convenience? Does it list out the generator types? the pros of buying a generator, let's scroll down here, the cons and considerations, the impact on budget and daily convenience, then below that is should you buy one, and it has additional thoughts. And it lists out the sources where it gathered that information. Because Think Deeper is using a superior reasoning model, this does take longer before completing its response, but it's worth it to get more accurate results. In that same announcement as Think Deeper is the free unlimited use of its advanced voice chat. They had previously had restrictions to this feature and you can now speak to it naturally in more than 40 languages. And unlike ChatGPT, you can pull in information that is more current. To get started, click on the microphone. Hey there, Brett. How's your Saturday shaping up in Baton Rouge? Fantastic. Great, glad to hear that. Got any fun plans lined up for the weekend? Uh, not today. Not this weekend. Chill weekends can be the best. A good time to unwind and recharge. Any books, movies, or hobbies keeping you company today? Uh, not really, but can you just tell me what happened in the news today? Early voting kicks off today in Louisiana for the May 3rd municipal general election, and there's a special primary for a new state representative in East Baton Rouge. Also, looks like this weekend's offering creative events like pottery painting and ice dyeing. Anything catch your interest? Not really. Uh, I'd like to change the subject to something else. We're planning a trip to San Antonio, Texas in August. Can you tell me the popular landmarks to visit and let me know what the typical weather is in August? San Antonio's got iconic spots like the Alamo, the vibrant river walk and the historic Market Square. August weather, it's hot, with highs around 97 degrees and lows around 74, and a chance for some rain. Are you excited about the trip? Ecstatic. That's the spirit. San Antonio in August will be an adventure. Planning anything special while you're there? Uh, not really. Well, there's plenty of time to mac it out. With your enthusiasm, it's bound to be an unforgettable trip. Anything Thank else? Oh, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Those are just a couple of my examples. Examples Microsoft gives for this are tell Copilot about a job you're applying for and your work experience and ask it to mock interview you or get some hands-free cooking advice as you follow a new recipe step by step. As I mentioned in the previous segment, ChatGPT is not so great at current information due to its limited real-time web access. Copilot, on the other hand, gives unrestricted real-time access with up-to-date answers. Let's do a couple examples. Enter in your prompt. 
And this one is, what are the top news headlines today in Australia? And then click on the submit message button. That's interesting. I was not aware that Tyra Banks moved to Australia. Let's try another one. What are the top news headlines for Formula One? On the day I'm recording this, it's giving the headlines for the Bahrain Grand Prix, which happened last weekend. And it gives a preview for the upcoming race coming up next weekend, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Here's a prompting tip for you. To get the most current results, use words such as today, most recent, or this week in your prompt. For example, who was the most recent winner of the Masters Golf Tournament? And you'll notice on this one it asked me a question. Are you a fan of golf or just keeping up with the latest sports news? I'll respond to it. ChatGPT has usage limits on its free tier with its GPT-4.0 model. Microsoft Copilot gives access to that same model with full context window capabilities. A context window is an AI's working memory. Essentially, it's the amount of text an AI can remember and reference. Here's an example. In six to eight paragraphs, can you tell me what is a large language model? So it gave me a response with seven paragraphs. Sometimes it may offer suggested prompts below, or you could enter a new prompt to keep the discussion going. This feature works great for doing research analysis, reviewing documents, and coding projects. Thanks for watching. The links for Copilot are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments if you're using Microsoft Copilot and how does it benefit you using it. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell for the latest on AI and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.